Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now, the status quo has long required that Cuban baseball players who come to the U.S. to play the sport professionally renounce their Cuban citizenship in order to do so. But under a proposed deal negotiated between Major League Baseball and the Baseball Federation of Cuba, that provision would have been temporarily waived for three years, and if the experiment proved successful, perhaps even eliminated entirely. But the Trump administration declared the deal illegal, saying that another provision requiring uh, baseball teams to pay 25% of a Cuban player's signing bonus to the Baseball Federation of Cuba ran afoul of U.S. sanctions on the country. The issue here is whether that, you know, the Baseball Federation of Cuba constituted a part of the Cuban government. Uh, Major League Baseball argued that it did not. The Trump administration determined that it did. So a new bill in Congress called the Baseball Diplomacy Act would render that bill, uh, render that deal, sorry, legal once again by allowing Cuban players to maintain their Cuban citizenship when they come to the U.S. to play the sport professionally. It was introduced in the House by Tennessee Democratic Representative Steve Cohen. Now, supporters argue that the bill helps both Cuban players and American sports fans alike by making it easier for some of the world's best players to play for the world's best baseball league. Uh, opponents counter that the deal would constitute unlawful payments to a country that is on the official list of U.S. State Department's uh, state sponsors of terrorism, along with Iran, Syria, and North Korea. Now, well, during the time it's taken you to watch this video, if there was a baseball game, they would have thrown one pitch 